this. It seems your brother was involved in a lot more activities than just smuggling guns for you. So what is this? Drugs? Prostitution? Extortion? I heard rumors of this project in Indo China years ago, but I can't remember. Seems they actually had the resources to pull it off. I'm most impressed. Well, what does it say here? An augmented, amplified, and crude version of the human species. Why won't anyone clone a little fool like my brother? Where did this take place? Um, in some remote location in Romania. Couldn't say exactly, but I know how to find it. If you're interested. Пиздец. The place is a mess. What the hell happened here? Well, you should have a look at these surveillance tapes. I think they explain the carnage. I had a feeling we might find something like this. I was hoping. Chloe. This guy is damn fantastic. Maybe not as strong as me, but fast. You know who he is? Hmm. And so do you. This, my friend, is Mr. 47. Nifika. 47 is nothing but a rumor. No one has ever proved that he exists. You know, I actually saw him in Rotterdam. Didn't know that was him at the time, but I did some research. So he already knew he had been here? Sort of. But is he for hire? Used to be. But I've heard no reports on his activities for a very long time. So, for all I know, he could be dead. Dead? Ты что, совсем сдурел? This thing proves that he's still alive. Now you just have to make him work for us. Well, let's go find him then. A killer like that never retires. evil, out of hatred. Filio mio, I know you well. You are also a good person. I've seen you taking care of the garden. I know of the large amount of money you donated to the church. 
Your soul is on the right path. But Father, I do not belong. I'm not of this world. So why should God forgive me? Do not worry, my son. When your time comes, he will have a place for you as well. Just keep God in your heart. Now I must leave. Stay a while and pray. Lead me, O oh Heavenly Father, in the path of right. I walk alone and stumble in the dark. Show me the light and I'll go there. Let me find peace in my own heart and save me from my enemies. Lasciatemi, lasciatemi, per favore! Lasciatemi! Oh, lasciatemi! Porca troia! Dash! Stai giù! 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 Benvenuto in Sicilia, Bersano. We hope you enjoyed the famous Italian hospitality on our beautiful island. However, there will be a slight charge for your stay. You will prepare a cash transfer of $500,000. No later than midnight the day after tomorrow. Meanwhile, we'll be entertaining your host, Padre Vittorio. He very much enjoys fishing. We are making sure he is happy that way until payment has been effected. Lei sentirà de noi, Giuseppe Giuliano. Five hundred thousand dollars. Can't pay that. I'm going to the garden shed. Time to dig up the past. Agency, this is 47. Patch me through to Diana. We need to confirm your ID registration, please. My number is BRO3886. Put Diana on. She'll recognize my voice. 47? This is Diana speaking. It's good to hear your voice again. We all thought you were dead. You'll be pleased to know your skills are in great demand these days. You're almost a legend amongst our customers. Diana, I'm not looking for work. I need some information on a Giuseppe Giuliano from Palermo, Sicily. What have you got? Let me see, Giuseppe. Oh yes, I've got a fat file. Giuseppe Giuliano, Acadon Aguilo Giuliano, capo of one of the largest, oldest, and most influential mafia organizations in Sicily. I need detailed satellite surveillance on his residence, and info on security and access routes. And keep an eye out for a priest. He's a friend of mine was kidnapped. A friend? Have you gone soft, 47? Besides, we don't believe in handing over information for free. How do you think you're going to pay us back? I've heard that you're extremely wealthy. Yes, I know. I've heard that rumor too. It's not true, though. But I'm sure you can suggest an arrangement. I'll pull a few strings and see what I can do. Actually, I do have a special request for you to perform a contract assignment. Should be a simple operation. A mission? Exactly. If you accept, I might be able to give you the requested information very soon. What do you say, 47? Still sharp enough to handle a job these days? It's been a while, 47, so let's just run through the basic routines together. Agency just wants to make sure you're not too rusty before your first mission. Welcome back everyone, my name is Joey and welcome to Let's Play with A3D. We are here to Let's Play Hitman 2. Well, I have so much fun with this game that I decided, well, the first game was awesome and the second game is also awesome after I finished it. And now I present to you the full Let's Play of the game. And wow, we are 10 minutes into the video and I'm starting my commentary right now. Phew, but I guess the first 10 minutes set the mood for the rest of this game and for the rest of this let's play, I hope. And we're gonna start with the next mission straight away. It's the first mission 
And I just have to say, have fun and here we go. 47, this is Diana from Agency. We're all happy you're back doing business for us. This mutual arrangement we made to rescue your friend and mentor, Father Vittorio, means you will have to take care of a number of Mafia members residing at the Villa Borghese, where he is kept hostage in the basement. Prime target is Don Giuliani. Security is not exactly lax. Plenty of guards roaming the mansion compound. However, don't expect to free Vittorio just like that. The Don is running a tight ship, and if alarmed, he will probably kill the hostage and escape. They're used to people coming to pay respect, ransoms or bribes, but they are alerted by unusual activities. Check out the map we have of the grounds. Buena Fortuna, 47. Well, this cutscene shows us two possible entry points to the compound. Either through the grocery guy or through this guy. Um, I will show you the alternative way which I did the mission the first time I played it. Uh, in a second, because I choose for this silent assassin approach a different entrance, which is this door here. We could tranquilize the flower dude with our arsenic. Drag him behind the entrance, take his glove, take his flowers. Before the door you will be searched for weapons. So, to avoid that weapons are found, drop your pistols and place a silent 9mm pistol inside groceries. Then return to the door, get yourself searched without the weapons to be found. Now you can enter the compound. Make sure that you walk, because when you run, the guards will blow your cover. And this would be bad. <laughs> Before the door, save your game. Because inside there is a flower girl which will take the flowers. Oh, grazie di fiori, li stavamo aspettando. And also a guard which will follow the flower girl inside. Sometimes he won't go all the way in. So make sure you load your game when he doesn't go all the way in. Then run inside the house. Get to the kitchen and take your silence pistol. Make your way up to the second floor and save your game again. So this is a cool action way, but I prefer the silent uh, assassin approach here. Because if you wait some time, a bodyguard will leave the compound to take a piss. There he comes. We will pick him as a victim to get tranquilized with the anaset, anas, anesthetic. Yeah, that's how it's pronounced, I guess. Come here. Don't throttle. Shh, 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 shh. Dreamland awaits you. So. Let's drag his body inside the compound through the door. Nobody will notice you or notice him. So make sure you make you park him behind the tree and then take his glove. The difference between this hitman and the previous hitman is that your disguise isn't so helpful. You can't just pass by uh, enemies when you have the cosplay costumes on because they have some kind of suspicion meter in this game. And what you want to do is to stay as far away from them as possible. Especially in this mission, the bodyguards know each other so they will notice you if you are not one of them. You see the grocery guy is going out to get his second grocery in, which holds our silence pistol. To not raise any suspicion we just walk here. Because again, if you run, 
everyone will see us, which is a bad idea. So inside you will meet two other NPCs which roam this building. The brother and the son of our victim. In the alternative way, we are on the second floor and we take a headshot with this guard. And then we go inside this room because there is an NPC which will storm the room where our target is every time you take him out. So we want him to be dead before we get to our target. Drag the guard from this corridor inside the room with the lower. And then we wait. Because son and brother will make their way up to the second floor someday. <laughs> go into the corridor with the dead guard. <laughs> so he's no longer here. And they will enter the boss's room where our target is and leave the boss's room through two different doors. Once they are gone from the boss's office, wait until our target is back into the room and go inside and shoot him without him noticing you. Now you can get the room key which we need for the basement and drag his body. And this is how we leave even in this silent assassin approach here. So we are on the roof and we now go along outside his office. Nobody cares if you are on the roof of the building. Now we pass this office. We can even wink him and say hello, we are coming for you. But <laughs> that's not uh, advice. <laughs> so when we are at this door, we sneak in, get our beloved fiber wire ready. Get him out of the way. This is for kidnapping Victoria, you son of a... Well, we take his room key and drag his body, like in the action alternative, out of this room. So, leave this door open. have to flee fast and in terror. <laughs> You'll also find a sniper rifle in there which is a third alternative for this mission. But we don't really need it. And we leave with our suit on, the crime scene and finish the level. Well, I'm playing the game on normal and we, since we achieved Silent Assassin we get a reward, the Silver Ballers uh, with Suppressor. And almost all zeros except for the saves. And I'll say thank you for watching and see you all in the next episode of Let's Play Hitman. I'm your host Joey, goodbye.